Hello, everyone. In this demo, I'm going to show you how you can easily deploy the Nginx Ingress controller with AppProtect on the OpenShift container platform. The first step is to go to your OpenShift console and install the Nginx Ingress operator. I have already installed it here. The next step is to provision your manifest. Our manifest is the Nginx Ingress controller manifest uh, to uh, deploy to provision the deployment of your Ingress controller. So as you can see, there are many fields here. And for all the details of the fields, you can visit our GitHub repository. But the, import the important fields I want to cover is the service type, which is the service that we will use to expose the Nginx Ingress controller to external users, and the image that we will pull, which is uh, Nginx Ingress controller with AppProtect, uh, that is pushed to my local Docker registry. Uh, so once I have these two fields uh, specified, everything else is set by default. I can go ahead and save this manifest and automatically I will see my Eng Nginx Ingress controller running on my OpenShift cluster. And here it is. Additionally, I will see the service uh, that will expose that ingress controller, which is right over here. And I will use this node port uh, to access, to connect to my ingress controller uh, uh, from my local machine. So once I have the ingress controller deployed, the next step would be to deploy my backend application pods. And as you can see, I do have uh, a deployment of replica two coffee and a deploy deployment replica of three T's. And uh, they are basically Nginx web servers that will uh, reply with an echo response. And so I have my backend application pods. And now I want to expose those backend pods to my Ingress controller. And to do this, I will need to apply an Ingress resource. So we're going to look into our Ingress resource. Here's my Ingress resource. Uh, and under the spec field, I am provisioning a TLS termination and layer seven routing to my backend application pods. So in this example, um, I am specifying a rule where users with the host header cafe.example.com uh, and with the certificate uh, that is embedded in the cafe secret, Kubernetes secret, will be routed to the T upstream provided that they have a request URI of slash T. And additionally, if they provide a slash coffee uh, request URI, they will be routed to the coffee upstream. And so I do have my basic you know, TLS termination and basic uh, layer seven routing provisioned. Now I'm going to provision JOT authentication and uh, WAF policies. To do this, I'm going to move on to the annotations field. And to provision JOT authentication, you need three annotations. The first annotation is uh, nginx.com slash JOT key, which will reference your Kubernetes secret uh, that will hold uh, a base64 encoded URL of your um, JOT key file. And we're going to look through that in a bit in a little bit. The next annotation is the JOT realm, which is in this case, in this example, cafe app and the redirect URL, given that the user is, has not, is not successfully authenticated, and they will be redirected to HTTPS uh, nginx.org. So given that I'm referencing this Kubernetes secret, let's go ahead and look, take a look at it. So in my uh, cafe jock secret, I am entering a jock data field with the base64 encoded string of my jock key file. So once I go ahead and apply this secret, I can apply it, uh, reference it successfully in my um, ingress resource. So that's all there is to jot authentication. The next step is to enable uh, Nginx app protect to protect your backend coffee services uh, from malicious attacks, such as uh, cross site scripting and other layer seven um, attacks. So the first step is to just is of course to enable AppProtect with this uh, annotation, 
and uh, referencing any app protect policies that you may have. And we're going to step through that app policy custom resource in a little bit. And the last thing is to enable the app protect logs and determine uh, to which destination you want to push those logs to. And in this example, I am pushing the app protect logs to the syslog server, which has a cluster IP of 10, 20, 128, 0, So before I apply this uh, ingress resource, I want to step through the uh, app protect policy that we're going to apply to our um, to Nginx app protect. So if I go back to here and I'm going to take a look at my security policy, here it is. There. So as you can see, here is my app protect policy and it's very basic. I'm setting a custom response. Uh, should app protect block uh, the traffic uh, from um, you know, suspicious or malicious, uh, malicious attacks, it will respond with a custom uh, response uh, where it will say, you know, something strange has happened with a custom header, uh, HTTP code 529, with the different uh, content type headers, et cetera, along with any response action types or response page types. So once I have this basic app protect policy, I can go ahead and apply it. And as you can see, if I do an OC app policy, we can see that it is here and ready to go, cafe alarm. So I'm going to reference this cafe alarm in my Nginx ingress resource. Cafe jot, here it is. This is where I reference it. So I specify the namespace and then metadata name of that uh, app protect policy. So once I have all of this ready, I can finally apply this ingress resource. Here we go. And so now I do have app protect and jot authentication provision with my ingress controller. So let's go ahead and test this out. Before I test this out, I'm going to, again, look at my node port, the port I will use to access uh, my ingress controller for my local machine. And I'm going to enter it over here. So I'm going to um, enter the host name in my browser, the host name of my ingress controller, and the port, and slash T. So as you can see, I am redirected to nginx.org because I am automatically unauthorized to access my backend applications, um, given that I did not present any tokens. So, but if I go back to my terminal here and I want to, luckily I do have a, um, a signed token issued um, by identity provider with that JAW key file I included in the uh, Kubernetes secret earlier and I want to access uh, my backend application and present the right uh, authentication token. Um, if I press enter, as you can see, I do get a 200 okay response from the backend application pod with the uh, coffee uh, response. Alternatively, if I want to access my T server, I can also access it as well. So now we know that JOT authentication works. Now, if I want to say, issue a suspicious response, uh, for example, a cross site scripting attack, for example, here, put a little script in here and see, let's see what happens now. If I do this, we see that we are getting a block. So app protect is blocking uh, the, the request with the custom response that we specified in our app protect policy. And if we want to see more details on this block from App Protect, we can look into the syslogs. So if we go into here and look at our syslog pog, we're going, I'm going to enter this container. There you go. And do a cat bar log messages. And as you can see, uh, the log is saying that there was there has been an attack, uh, a cross-site scripting attack along with all the, the date and the destination port, et cetera, et cetera, all the, 
the details that come along with the block. So there you have it. I showed you how you can easily deploy the Nginx Ingress controller on OpenShift and provision App Protect to block um, uh, malicious traffic and authenticate users uh, to the back to your backend application. And so with this, you can uh, delegate the WAF policies to your DevSecOps team, where you can grant access to those users uh, to provision the app protect policies and um, delegate the JOT authentication and load balancing uh, configuration to your DevOps team. And so these teams can work on different things, uh, but they're not granted access to um, the app protect or the John authentication, depending on what team is, is working on what. I hope you'd found this demo um, useful. Have a good day.